Um, is altruism a form of insanity or an understandable error? Why are those two the only alternatives? It, it, it's, uh, I don't think it's insanity, right? Insanity means you're, there's something wrong, right? It, it, it truly is uh, biologic. You know, there's something, your mind is not functioning at all. Um, it, it, is, it is something that is an error, but errors, it's, it's not just a mistake. It's an error that people accept and then evade in order to keep hold of. But that's not insanity. That's still, you know, it's, it's, it's pleasing because it's what everybody else wants you to be. It's pleasing because God looks down on you and thinks it's good. I mean, is religion insanity or an understandable error? You can't, it's an, it's a, Error or a product of evasion, or in some cases, I guess it could be insanity. Um, but I think a lot of it is, what is the alternative to being an altruist? How many of us would be non-altruists if not for Ayn Rand? I mean, I wouldn't be. I might be a cynic. I probably would be a cynic because I, I don't think I could have. I think I, at the end, I would have come to the conclusion that altruism doesn't make any sense. But what, where would that have left me with? What's the alternative to altruism? Cynicism. There is no values. There's no truth. You just do whatever, right? So I think most people don't know there's an alternative. Even if they read Ayn Rand, they don't understand that there's an alternative. So I think most people are committing an innocent error in that they don't really know. And that's why they're not consistent altruists either, right? Because they know that's bad. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at yourunbookshow.com slash support, or on Patreon, or Subscribestar, or Locals, uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value, hopefully, you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you... Even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.